We want to transfer more tasks to the EU if we expect of the EU that it should fund ambitious projects at the, and at the same time we're seeing cuts made to the financial resources available, then we are promoting an, a reduction of solidarity in Europe, for example within cohesion policy and reducing solidarity within Europe is something which exists in a dangerous form inside some of the member states of Europe and we don't want it to affect member states at a different level as well. Now look at what David Cameron has been saying, look at the proposals that are being put forward in the Dutch Parliament that we're talking about cuts and more cuts. We're looking at Europe retreating from integration and we're looking at a move towards renationalization. Well, you might want a concept along those lines, but you could also say that Europe is the response that we in the 21st century will be giving to the ecological, the economic, the financial, the currency, monetary and mi migration policy related challenges within the framework of a globalized world. We have two options open to us. We can fragment, we can fall apart into from the sum into its individual parts. I mean, we could have, we could splinter into our constituent parts, Germany with 82 million inhabitants and Malta with 360,000 inhabitants, and then Europe will become irrelevant. Because here, what we will see is smaller countries not being able to withstand cutthroat competition in the international context. What we need is the strength of 500 million people in a community and 27 member states in a community and then and only then will we be strong. And that is something which is expressed in the budget and the financial perspective that runs until 2020. I think it's a good, a sound draft. I hope that the spirit of the Polish presidency, which has manifested itself in the draft program, in other words, a spirit of cooperation, will manifest itself in Europe. It will become the hallmark of Europe, irrespective of which country's parliament you're talking about, when we are looking ahead to the addressing the future of Europe. I mean, if we're talking about a Marshall Plan for the Mediterranean area, we, if we talk about that on the one hand, we can't then turn around and on the other hand say that we want to make budgetary cuts. We can't say that we can fund the EU with 0.8% with of GNP and then all, all of a sudden, as the Dutch government has done, start talking about what should be done in the wake of the ECEH crisis.